Hello guys and welcome to another FIFA 14 Me vs the World. Um, I think I might have a little idea what I can do with this series. I think I might sort of... What other people do is, like Hairsai, he kind of sort of just plays the matches and gets his way to Division 1 and, you know, he, he can't spend any packs on players and whatever. Deji, you know, he spends packs and players, just tries to get to Division 1. What I think I might do, maybe, is... Like a sort of... different thing every week. Like, it's to get into Division 1, but it's sort of... with, like, something in it. So, today I'm thinking I'll, go, I'll do a Marco Royson review. Um, he is just one of the most incredible players in this game. Probably one of the best, in my opinion. And, um, like last week I did a BPL squad builder, which was worth 120,000 coins. So, I think I might do something like that, and it would be really helpful if, you know, you lot could just give me some ideas, like, do you want me to make a certain squad builder, do you want me to do a review on a certain player, and I'll see if I can do it. Just basically say that, or if you want me to, you know, just do anything, just tell me, and I'll sort of add it into sort of the Division 1 sort of games sort of thing, which I hope you really, I hope you like really. Um, so, yeah, I, was, I, was, I would think, yeah, I'd probably do that. Just so I'm not really copying anyone and stuff, you know, like uh, KSI or something. Um, because there's people out there who just say that and they're a pain. <laughs> um, so, yeah, so let, let's just start this. I may as well show the squad. I'll be playing with um, because obviously I'm going to be playing with them. Um, so we start off with Rene Adler. This guy is good. <laughs> I'll say that. He is very good. Um, he does save some stupidly good shots and I don't know how he does, but he does. Um, I forgot to do stats. Yeah, 86 diving, 86 reflexes, 81 handling, 46 speed, 76 kicking, 83 positioning. E, they're good stats. If anything's, if most of his average stats are in 80s, then I, yeah, he's good. Um, okay, so there's Matt's Hummels, not Matt, Matt's. <laughs> 65 pace, 68 dribbling, 58 shot, 86 defending, 75 passing, and 85 headering. So, he's kind of like, well, I've noticed with him anyway, he's kind of a attacking defender. Um, but he ain't too attacking, like, it says there, a high attacking work rate and medium defence. But I always found him that he's kind of like, he's not majorly up and he doesn't always stay up. But he's sort of, I don't know, sorry, there's something in my eye. It's so annoying. Um, yeah, but because you can see, look at, he has 86 defending, 85 header in, but not the best shot. So I'm sort of, he's sort of good around the corners. He's more attacking around the corners, let's just say that. And then he always gets back into his position, which I find really good. Okay, so Naldo, uh, this guy's crazy, or Ronaldo, <laughs> so it says at the top there in his name. Um, this guy as good as he was on uh, <coughs> FIFA 13, but he's still good, he's still quite a solid defender. And uh, he's probably one of the best um, Bundesliga centre-backs anyway. This is some really crappy guy that I'd never even heard of called Schaffer. Um, i seen that he has 70 shots, so I thought I'd buy him. And Alabalabuba is quite expensive, so I just left him. Um, I do have an, I do have the money for him, but I just yeah he's too expensive, and I'm not sure if um, he's really worth it or not. So I'm not bothered with him yet. Um, okay, Rafi now I got him in a pack. Uh, one of my first starter packs actually. Um, he's yeah I see him a lot on match a, a lot of times in the match and. He's, yeah, he's good. <laughs> you know, he gets close to uh, man of the matches every single match, nearly. Um, let's go, let's go to Felipe, not like Felipe, um, Luis Gustavo. Um, yeah, um, I'll say again, he's good. Um, he, I see him a lot in the match, and he he, he does a lot for the team. Really, his, his shoot, his shots are really good. He has 58 shooting, but his volleys... It's something up with the CDMs and their volleys. It's just... 
then uh, it's the same with Essien. It's just like Mr. Essien. He's just stupidly good. Like what the hell? He scores volleys that Ronaldo would do. It's just stupid, really. And then there's Javi Martinez. Um, he's good as well. <laughs> and uh, he's more of one of the defensive cent uh, CDMs, I would say. He's more defensive than Luis Gustavo. Um, he doesn't score a lot, obviously. And he's good. <laughs> uh, I can leave him to last. Um, Tony Cruz. I bought him because he had, I seen he had five star weak foot. And then he had 83 shooting, and if he was going to be the same as he was on FIFA 13, he had majorly incredible long shots. So I thought I'd buy him, and he's, I've only played two games with him, but he's done well in those games. He had a couple of shots, didn't score, though. But he was very, very unlucky. He's, he, he's good. And 85 passing and 83 dribbling is very good. The 57 pace, I thought that was bad, but to be honest, I thought this is FIFA 14, and the pace doesn't really matter. Um, okay, Blaszczykowski is kind of crap. <laughs> I'll just come out with it. He is kind of crap. He, I don't see him a lot in the matches. His crossing isn't brilliant for a winger. And that 93 pace is not shown at all. Um, best thing probably has is 82 dribbling. And that's about it. Yeah, I don't think he's very good. I mean, I would have bought Iron Robin if I had the money, but I don't. So that's just the best player I could get so far. Or Shakiri, or his name is. Um, yeah, <clears throat> if I chose to buy him instead. Then there's Aubameyang with the overpowered Hawk engine thingy. Hawk engine? Hawk chemistry style. I had this with Suarez in my last video, and he's just stupidly good. I don't know why. And as you can see, he's played three games, scored two goals, and he's actually he actually played like two games without scoring, and then scored two goals in his third. So <clears throat> yeah, if you want a striker, put a hawk on him. You know, yes, I I would say above 85 pace or 80 something at least. Um, I put the hawk thing on him, and he'd be very very good because if I as you can see, it increases his pace, shooting, and headering, which is what a striker needs, basically. And he is very good at it. Then we come to the man. The best player, in my opinion, on this game. He, I would say he's, he's close with Ronaldo. He's... Ah. Uh, wow. What a player. Mr. M Mr. Royce. 108k. Worth the money. Every single little penny. Is just... Wow. Him with a sniper trait. I haven't seen him without it, but every person I played with him with the stupid sniper trait is just, he is so good. And I just put, this, well, I bought him with a sniper trait, and I hope I can show you in the video, but his long shots, oh my god. His shooting, oh my god. It increases his shooting and dribbling, which ain't, it's, it's look, he's got 86 shooting, 86 dribbling. I guarantee in a squad builder, or this video rather, he will score. It, oh my god, he's so good. I can't explain him what he is. He is just another man. So, this is the Bundes, and that's Marco Royce. Let's get into some gameplay. Right, didn't see this guy's name. I was too busy drinking my cup of tea, but his name is Habers FC. Oh! Bundesliga all the way. This is what all you get in this stupid game is Bundesliga, Bundesliga, Bundesliga. And that's all you get. And this guy is Andrew Schiller. So I'm guessing he got me in a pack, otherwise he wouldn't really fit into this squad. Um, but they're basically, every match you play, it's either a Bundesliga or a stupid BPL. That's all you get in this game. It's just ridiculous. What the hell? I don't, I don't know why. And, uh, yeah, in the last video, I kind of leaned over all the time. That's kind of what I do in games. It's just, I don't know, I just kind of do it. I, I get so into the game, I kind of forget that I'm making a video. <laughs> um, so, yeah, I'll try and avoid the slouch. But the slouch means I'm working well, or putting effort. And I don't have a clue why I shot there. Come on, Schaefer, never even heard of you. That was an awful pass. I wasn't meant to go there at all. Take a shot. Oh my god, Rafina! 
What the hell was that? What the hell? Uh, what a shot! It's like the you have a crap shot. Who's this keeper? Rene Adler. I forgot. I really hope my Rene Adler ain't like that. Why is my left back taking the corner? But it doesn't matter. Ah, uh, okay, it did matter. I need to sort that out. I don't know why it's on the corners. Ah, right, come on, Rice. Marco Rice hits the post. Look at that. That's how good he is. I mean, he hit the post and didn't score, obviously. But no, that, that is just incredible. He is so good. No way. Thank God he didn't score there. I didn't even tell him to come out. If he scored, that would be so unfair. And before you ask, I did try Lewandowski. He was absolutely crap. And uh, um, I didn't bother with him. And I just thought Albany Young's much better. And he's cheaper. I saved myself like 75k. So, yeah. Here's your 93 pace. Look at him. He's flying. He's like a man. On. What? I forgot what I was going to say. But he got tackled. Royce. Royce. Come on. Look at that. That's how good he is. Let's do this celebration. Come on, Marco Rice, what a goal. Oh, look at this. Look at this for a goal. Look at that. Boom. He is another man. He is... Ah, oh, every goal he scores gives me goosebumps. Is Ah, oh, he's so good. Ah, oh, Gundogan, damn you. Ah. <sighs> Forty fifth minute goal scripting obviously <clears throat> Let's win this. Ah Ah Ah, ah! <laughs> scripting was that? Yeah. It took a deflection of Dante. And I think it hit the post. Yeah. What the hell? How scripted was that? That was so crap. I mean, yeah, it's good. But come on. Really? I'm not. I'm complaining. I'm looting. I'm winning. No. I, I'm sorry, but no. That's just. Ah, <laughs> unlucky there, Rice. As very unlucky. Okay, that was a little bit wide, but ah, uh, you get the ball with him, and you just feel like you can do anything. He is just so smooth with the ball; it is unbelievable. Eighty-six dribbling. Wow. Come on, we won that. Two-one. Not much. Stuff going on really in the second half at the first half. Wow, Marco Rice, what a goal! 8.7. That's actually the first time he hasn't got a man of the match from it. He's played about four, no, was it five, six games? And he did, he's got a man of the match in pretty much every single one of them. I think. I think he didn't I think out of maybe five out of six games he got man of the match. He's wow. Let's play one more game. Come on. Yeah, 66 chemistry, come on. Oh. <laughs> oh, right, he's just got a random team. I found that chemistry doesn't really matter since I've had other teams before and they kind of still. Yeah, they still kind of do well, so. I mean, none of his players even work well together. I mean, maybe the front three, but that's about it. Come on now. He's got Tim Howard, and uh, he's just probably going to score against me. 100 yard goal. Right, come on though. Penalty! Penalty! Come on. Just because you got done. Just because you got done. Daniel Aga. Oh, he had a card. <sighs> Marco Rice. He, he done you, and he's just like, nah. Slide. So you're like, I don't care about you. 
Now I put a marker Royce on this. And what the hell? Why the hell are you on it it's with your 79 penalties? Yes! Come on, you dive too late. Da -da 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 -da. Come on! This is how you celebrate. Just sit down and sort of rave. Yes. You dive too late. You wait till I shot and then dive. You don't do that. You just. No. That's why chip through balls are overpowered. Because nobody defends for them. What the hell's a substitute doing? <laughs> Look. No one locks onto it. It's just so dumb. And it's in 45th minute. And it's lagging. Go away, game. <sighs> Daniel Aga, you're not that good, okay? Stop it! I'm just trying to do the right skill, and then you start lagging on me! What the hell? And I lost. Absolutely lucky. Every match, it's so unfair. It's just always lucky goals. Oh wow, we had exactly the same amount of shots. Okay. So it has to be one win, one loss. One win, one loss. All the time. It's so annoying. Oh, no. Well. I hope you enjoyed Marco Rice. And the Bundas. But, uh... Yeah, so next time it could be whoever you want in as a reviewer or a squad builder. Um, yeah, I'll play with them till I get to Division 1. Um, so every episode I want to try and do something new. So maybe another... St I think I might try and do... I don't know, actually. I might just do it random every time. and Or I could just do the same. I don't know. Just put in the comments if you want to see a certain squad builder or a certain review player, and I'll try my best to try and you know sort it, sort it out and see if I can <clears throat> see if I can get them. But you know, no one too stupid like uh, but uh, Messi, Ronaldo, nothing like that. Nothing too stupid. Something that is sort of reasonable and maybe about three hundred k at least, three four hundred. Maybe at least, because I could ask my friend if I could borrow him or something. Uh, certain players, because he has like, a stupid mess in a pack. So, um, so anybody around that. And, um, so yeah. Marco Royce. <sighs> Tell me what you thought of him. Did you like him? Did you think he was kind of crap? Do you think he was not worth 100k? 108k? But, to be honest for me, I would say he's worth every single little bit. Worth everything. Eight goals, eight games, eight goals. It was like, you know, it was five games, six goals or something. I don't know. It was, it was, he, he is such a good guy. If you can afford him, buy him. Even if he's not in a Bundesliga team. I, I, I bought him and put him in a Serie A team and that, just to see if he's any good. And he still worked really well in that team. And he didn't work well with anyone, but. He, he still was really good. Whatever team you put him in, he's so good. Just tell me what you thought of him. And uh, so, yeah. See you later, guys.